I'm going off the rails on a crazy train. What's up, you beautiful rock stars? Jim Chandler with Rocky Best Vocals. But today, I'm really excited. We're going to be looking at Ozzy Osbourne. I'm not looking at him specifically. We're going to be learning how to sing like Ozzy Osbourne. I really have to kind of give give a caveat to all these. I'm not going to sound exactly like Ozzy Osbourne. What, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to kind of try to give you a little bit of the nuances. A lot of times the difficulty is, is that a, a singer, a particular singer may not have a very good technique or a lasting technique. One of the things about Ozzy is I think he's had a, a, a fairly good last technique I think he's pretty well still um, singing everything in the same key I'm not really sure maybe he has but anyway let me know in the comments some of you Aussie experts might know in the comment below has he been dropping keys over the time but I think he's like he's sustained his voice as far as I know for a long period of time the only thing that I am aware of is that could only sing like three nights in a row or something like that and then he'd have to take a break and he was he was given out to Sharon because like she had like four or five nights booked four or five in a row or something he was like really like what is the schedule a show tomorrow and then a show in Albuquerque you can't do that so you blow me out for the first thing. you can't do that Sharon I gotta break my voice in you know that I can't do that anymore Sharon I'm 52 years of age you should have known that you knew that before you booked this fucking thing nine gigs in a row fine we'll do it Ozzy you've never done nine gigs in a row in your uh, life but you, you'll soon fucking change that won't you no no oh, Sharon it's wrong it's abuse though I won't do it I'm telling you right now it's one on one up I ain't doing this not happy about that because he could only sing a few nights in a row so maybe his technique is just one that maybe maybe it's 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 not as strong as could be uh, but it, it seems to have sustained overall so i won't get into that too much but uh, oftentimes there i'd be demonstrating a singer who doesn't have great technique and i like to try to stray away from that or I'll modify the technique, but I'll let you know where I'm modifying the technique, particularly with Ozzy. Let's get into it now. It's a few of the nuances and hopefully like if you employ these into your own style, if you want to sing a little bit more like Ozzy or you have an Ozzy cover band, hopefully these things will help you um, as they help me, at least in my own mind. That's another thing I must point out. Like when I'm trying to sing like someone when i'm like you know when i'm doing a cover song or something like that i'm putting myself in my own i'm trying to think like they are i'm trying to like pretend that i am them so it's like i'm kind of play acting as you know as a child would like to pretend like i'm being like ozzy okay and um that helps me to kind of get into it and hear the nuances and you know try to sing a little bit more like them but anyway so let's get into this right now i'm going to start off with the very beginning because i think this is like quite a good example of what ozzy does you know not very often but he does from time to time okay so <laughs> so he has that it's there's a little bit of a it's like a very compressed Audubon! that little blah, 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 that kind of gargly sound in there okay you basically take a, a nice deep breath of air and like you're going to lift something that's the way like when when i started doing like kind of dave grohl in that i got another confession to make that's how i thought of it in terms of that uh you know uh feeling but you you, you want to hold back as much breath as possible okay otherwise you're going to end up like pushing too much out and it's going to really cause you damage okay I, 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 I. it's kind of you know even for me like i have to like take a deep breath of air and kind of like not let too much out but it, it kind of push a nasally sound i ain't really bright but that's how it go okay do you hear that first i wanted to just stop it there because you, you can hear that crazy okay he's like letting a little bit of air out and that's something when you're kind of compressing and you're you're holding back air 
when you're singing, there is a tendency to kind of let some out at the end. Crazy, but that's how it goes. So crazy, crazy, but that's how it goes. So what I'm doing is like I'm, I'm really trying to hold back the air. Although he is pushing more air through than I am. But it, it's very nasally. Okay, so I'm trying to like use push that through the nose. Crazy, but that's how it goes. You don't have to be loud when you're singing this. There's no, there's no real need to go loud. M millions of people. Millions of people. Dear out, it's really nasally, very bright. Millions of people. And I'm just doing that by kind of keeping the soft palate low. So the, okay, so I'm getting a little bit technical there, but your soft palate is in the back. You know, if you take your, tongue or your finger and you run it like just behind your front teeth uh, uh, and you'll feel where the little sort of squishy bit goes that's your soft palate and you can raise or lower that if you raise it like it's going to give a sound like oh, and if I lower it oh, is having it raised oh kind of like this over the back of my 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 mouth top of my mouth living as foes maybe there again at the end of that maybe it's not too late so it's like almost after every maybe he's clearly like holding back the air or trying to control that outflow because he's he's letting some out after every note. And it's not like kind of he's not gasping for more air back in. He's not letting all of his air out, but he's 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 not gasping for air to come back in either. Is that shows that he does have like a good technique at this stage. He's not like really like winded or you know, like losing that air capacity. To learn how to love and forget how to hate. So there on that, to learn how to love, you can hear that little gargly. To learn how to love! To learn how to love! Okay, so I'm accentuating a, a little bit there, a little bit more than he was, but it's that little gargly sound that's in there, and he, he does that, you know, quite a bit. That's kind of one of Ozzy's styles, you know, one of his, his stylistic Ozzy traits, if you will. If you will. Mental wounds not here! Healing, mental wounds not healing. He is really pushing a lot, and that, that that's very bright sounding, very nasally. Like Life's a bit of shame. I'm going off the rails on a crazy train. I love that high. That I'm going off the rails on a crazy train. I mean, I've always loved that harmony. I'm going. Things are going wrong for me. And listen to how thin and lazy. I know that things are going wrong for me. It says a little bit. And his, the way he shapes his vowels plays into it as well. So he's got that really thin sound. And the way he shapes it. Things are going wrong for me. Like again, if you hold back your air. Try that and let me know. Does that work for you? If you if you try that, does that help you to sound? Because it does. I think I think I'm sounding a bit more like Ozzy. I don't know. I could be fooling myself because, like I said, I like to try and put myself in that. And sometimes we could just fool ourselves, thinking, "Man, I sound a lot like him." I know that things are going wrong for me. Going wrong for me. It's the way he really kind of over enunciates those vowels i know that things are going wrong for me if you try that you make these big blah, motions with your mouth i know that things are going wrong for me while you're holding back that air i don't know to me man i think i sound just like him no yes
but no. I know that things are going wrong for me. I know that things are going wrong for me. That sounds pretty damn good. You gotta listen to my words. Yeah. I'm gonna try to over and it's the ad and make some bigger mouth movements. You've gotta listen to my words. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that sounds a bit. I don't know. Maybe it's close. I don't know. You know let, me, let me know in the comments down below if you think that was sounding close. As of a cold war, that's what we've become. You hear that? Inheriting <laughs> troubles, I'm mentally numb. I'm mentally numb. I'm living with something that just isn't fair. No, listen to that. I mean, I never heard that, but it's almost sounding like a rude sound. Mental oh my God. I'm living with something that just isn't fair. I'm living with something that just isn't fair. Mental wound. I've never heard that. It's so great. That just isn't fair. Mental wounds not healing. Who and what's to blame? I'm going off the rails on a crazy train. I'm going off the rails on a crazy train. Brilliant. All right, so that's the end of the song. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I've enjoyed doing this again. I really enjoy actually doing these, picking these apart, especially this one. All those little noises after the phrases has just been so telling. You can hear that from a lot of these isolated vocal tracks, and like that is definitely no exception. That is like a prime example of you know, good singing, holding back the air and that compression and that kind of release after just shows that he's holding back. Like he's getting that power in the voice. And at the end, there's always that like a little release after the, the phrase is done. So, um, I hope this video helped. If you if you guys have enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe. That helps it get out to other people and just shows people like how cool this is and how enjoyable this has been for me. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell into little tiny pieces so you can see more of these because I'm going to do a lot more of these coming up. Looking forward to doing some more of these and looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Rock your best, focus where your best keeps getting better. Thank you.